how, uh, not me choking on the palate. <laughs> my channel if you are new hi my name is Shani thank you so much for clicking to watch this video so as you guys can see by the title I'm going to be trying out the makeup forever foundation in the color y545 and the concealers in the color 53 I feel like I said that weird 53 and 52 and I also have a new setting powder that I picked up from Amazon and the Makeup Forever products are from Sephora. So if you guys are interested in these products and want to hear what I have to say about them, if I like them, my opinions, how they wear, if it flashes back, let's just go ahead and get into this video because I'm super, super, super excited. And my hair is cute today. It looks, it's giving, okay? Y'all like my hair? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, so I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Coverage Foundation. It retails for $43. It's a liquid foundation formula, medium coverage, natural finish, is long wearing, good for dark circles, fine lines, um, and wrinkles. This foundation is also available in 50 colors. So let me just go ahead and start with my brows. So I'm using the Benefit Cabal Brow Gel in the color 4.5. Okay, I think I like the shape. Let's get into these concealers. So I did pick up concealers as well. I got the color 53 and 52. I honestly feel like I should go a little bit lighter for my under eye concealer, but um, we'll get to that when I get to my face. I just need to do my brows. Actually, I think I want to mix them. So, all right, so this is 53. And this is 52. That's 53 and 52. So I'm just going to mix these together and carve out my brows and also prime my eyelids. I feel like these concealers are like the perfect blend. They are more on the watery side, so if you don't really like a watery consistency, you might not like these, but still have a lot of coverage to them, which I really, really like. And I like that they don't dry down super quick because, I don't know, I just don't like that. And then I'm just going to take the excess and... Lay this all over my eyelid. This is the Morphe E8 brush, by the way. That MAC 242 brush was taking too long. <laughs> so I'm just making sure it's blended out and it's smooth. If you are familiar with my, um, my channel, how I do my makeup, y'all know that I like for this to be very very smooth this was another recommendation from jasmine sullivan's makeup artist she used this powder on her and i really like this powder it's super fine excuse my nail i broke it it's white but it does not flash back and i like how uh not me choking on the powder <laughs> what was i saying um I like how fine this powder is. It doesn't flash back. Y'all see it. It doesn't flash back. It doesn't have like a cast to it. It just sets everything down very nicely. Moving on to the eyeshadow. This is the Flame Blank palette from MAC. And I'm taking this color right here. I don't want this to be orange. Hold on. I'm just going to use the... Um, Frankation palette from Dose of Colors and just go over this orange because 
I don't want it to be super orange and I really like this color in this palette as you guys can see <laughs> and I'm using the Morphe M532 brush all right now I'm taking this brown color I think it's La Vida Mocha I think that's the name of it makes sense it's mocha and I'm just taking that on my eyelid and I'm using this Sigma E30 no E25 brush I've been using the same brushes for so long I should probably remember the name well remember the number but do I no now I'm taking the M505 brush from Morphe I'm taking this color right here right here and I'm just going to deepen up my outer corner. Alright, so these are the lashes I'm going to wear. I did stack them myself. And I can't really remember exactly what two lashes these are. But I'm pretty sure they're my Amazon lashes. So, I'll just link them down below. Okay, so I just came back from cleaning and prepping my lashes. I had to curl them as well because they were starting to lose the curl this is how they are looking one of these days i'm going to sit down and show you guys how i stack my lashes but in the meantime this is how they look super pretty okay these are a little heavy but it's okay they look good so all right moving on to the face i'm going to prime my face with the elf poreless putty primer this is it right here and i'm just going to take it on the inner corner i don't have any sunscreen on right now because i'm not am i going somewhere i think i am okay sunscreen i'm gonna have to reapply the primer but it's okay i think i have to go inside the house i have to return um a hard drive so that i can edit these videos for y'all the foundation is a natural finish so i feel like whatever i put up under it the makeup reflects it so if i put a mattifying primer on i feel like the i feel like the foundation is going to be more matte if you do have very oily skin i would go in with a mattifying primer just so the um sunscreen doesn't make you overly um oily but still put your sunscreen on all right foundation so with this foundation i do feel like putting it on with a brush um seems to work best for me because i was putting this on last night i probably shouldn't have been trying to put this on last night because i didn't prep my skin properly and it was kind of separating but it probably was because of what i had on i was wearing the ordinary what was that? i think i was wearing the ordinary moisturizer yesterday and it just i don't know something was making the foundation not apply to my face properly i was running around <laughs> i did have oils on my face already like my face needed to be washed and prepped before I had put this foundation on but I was just putting this on top of a dirty face I don't know what I was thinking but here we are and I did apply it with a sponge yesterday and I didn't really like a dry sponge I didn't really like how it was looking so I'm just going to do what I usually do with this foundation and apply it with a brush and as you guys can see the foundation is a bit darker than my skin but it's the right undertone so everything works out well give me because if the undertone was not correct the foundation wouldn't look as good like 
y'all this <laughs> i don't understand why i'm just now finding out about this foundation like where have i been and in my opinion this is a solid medium coverage foundation if you're looking for full coverage this is not it um you can build it up but i wouldn't really do that i mean you can but i don't think it's going to build up too much more like if you want it to be more full coverage um i will go in with a concealer that's full coverage but yeah that's how it's looking on my skin i just zoomed up a little closer so you guys can see how it's looking They did what they had to do with this one. Now I'm gonna go in with the concealer in 53 first. And then I'm gonna go in with the 52. And now I'm going to put down 72. And I'm also going to highlight my nose. And I'm just going to let it sit a little bit and move on to contouring, well, cream contouring. And to apply my contour, I'm using the Morphe M437 and I'm using the Kat Von D Good Apple Foundation. I also want you guys to pay attention to how it settles in the skin. Um, I did already tell you guys that this is a natural finish. So you guys saw when I first put the foundation on, it was really, really shiny. So in my opinion, this is the finished product of how it dries down. It's not super shiny and it's not super matte. It's like right in the middle. Okay, it's ready to blend. Y'all, like, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's my nephew's favorite saying right now. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> no that's how i feel right now are you kidding these are the type of products that i like to work with i shouldn't have to go through a lot to make the foundation um look good if it doesn't look good from the beginning it's not gonna look good at the end <laughs> well you might be able to finesse it to make it look good at the end but i don't want to do all that I, I don't got time for all of that i need it to work when i put it on it needs to work i don't have time to figure out if you are gonna work or not you know and this is just doing what it needs to do. Okay. I'm going to take the powder. And set my under eyes. Okay, so I set my highlighted areas. Now I am going to set my face with the Too Faced powder in cocoa. And to bring back out my bronzer slash contour, I'm using Ganache from Too Faced to set the um contour bronzer good apple foundation y'all know me and my lazy nose contour
for blush i'm taking blush please from mac and this is the 195 bronzer brush from fenty and now i'm putting rosie does it on top also from mac I'm trying to figure out if I want to put black liner on my bottom lash line. This is a brown liner from LA Girl. If this doesn't give, I'll probably go in with black. Not the sun in my eye. And then I'm taking Rising Star from MAC to add a little bit of glow to the face. Not too much. I just like a little glimmer, a little shine. Nothing serious. All right, so this is how the makeup is looking. It looks so good i need to go finish off this other video slash finish my hair and then i will come back and finish off the video but wow actually i think i'm going to do check-ins but yeah this is how the makeup is looking at what time is it 6 30 i'm gonna show y'all 6 30 p.m i'll go ahead and spray my face with the uh, professionals super setter all right so i'm back and it's been about six hours it's 12 o'clock almost one o'clock in the morning now and this is how the makeup is looking it has no flashback at all if you're in the market for a new foundation i think this will be a good one if you have dry skin if you have oily skin if you have textured um, skin if you have acne dark marks I think this will be a good foundation this isn't a full coverage foundation though and I'm going to show you guys how I usually <laughs> can tell if it's a full coverage foundation or a medium coverage foundation and I'm just going to put it over put the foundation over my birthmark that was a lot of foundation okay so this is my birthmark and I'm just going to put the foundation over it <laughs> And this is how I usually tell if it's going to cover up everything or not. So this is why I say this is a medium coverage foundation. Because you can still see it. You can try to build it up. But in my opinion, you can only build it up so much. But I like that about it. I like that it still lets your skin show through but it does have some coverage i don't think i've ever showed you guys that on camera but that's what i'd be doing if you do have dark marks and you have acne or anything on your skin that you're trying to cover up i would go for a full coverage foundation because this is not going to be a full coverage foundation but if you are looking for a foundation that is going to allow your skin to show through and you're looking for a natural finish foundation um that's not too oily and not too dry I think this foundation will be a good foundation and it's an HD foundation so it's going to look good on camera. The picture that's in the thumbnail of weekly vlog number 6 I have that foundation on well I have this foundation on in that thumbnail and I had it on at the end of the video as well. I look a little awkward in this picture but it came out so I'll probably pop it up on the screen so you guys can see and I barely edited this picture. Um, Another thing I didn't really go outside in this foundation I wasn't like in the outside environment i went outside to look at something and then i came back i was being nosy and then i came back in the house and then i also went outside to go um do something got in the car came right back in the house so i wasn't really outside at all today and i didn't wear a mask because i wasn't going into um anybody's establishment so i'm not really sure how it wears with the mask oh i didn't pat anything down at all this is how the foundation starting to oil up after seven hours of wear but i still think it looks really good and if you guys know me y'all know that i like my face to look somewhat shiny dewy satin not like greasy but i like it to look skin like you know what i mean 
let me see if my foundation is coming off this was the main part that's oily and of course my nose <laughs> and my forehead is a little oily but other than that the foundation looks really good um, another thing because I see my clients do this all the time if you have foundation on and you get oily or you get sweaty or anything like that, do not wipe, okay? Don't wipe. <laughs> pat. Pat, okay? Or if you have like a hair on your face or something like that and you don't want to scratch, don't scratch. Please don't scratch. Um, you can get a spoolie and just like knock it off your face without like picking up your makeup you know what i'm saying if you are going to use the concealer as a eyeshadow primer or anything like that if you put a shimmery shadow on top of it it's not going to be as shiny and i feel like the concealer kind of oxidizes but i could be wrong um this might just be a super warm foundation which it is it looks more of like a corrector so yeah that's one thing that i did notice about the concealer i'm not sure if it oxidizes or it's just really warm once I put it on and it does dry down matte especially if you set it with a powder so this powder if you are going to put an eyeshadow on top of these two things is going to set matte and it's going to make everything that you lay on top of it more of a matte version your matte eyeshadows are going to be matte but your satin and shimmery eyeshadows aren't going to be as shimmery I think I got that across well. <laughs> I feel like I'm not making sense. But if you guys wear makeup, you guys know what I'm talking about. And if you guys wear concealer um, as an eyeshadow base and you put eyeshadow on top of it, you guys know what I'm like talking about. I'm just saying it's not as shiny as it usually is. For my lip combination, because I think you guys might act, I have on Cinnamon Roll from, from NYX. And then I also have, I forgot the name of this. It kind of wiped off. Mm. Oh, this is the LA Girl Gel Liner in um, brown. And it's pretty dark. So I use this to line my lip. And I am filling it. And then I shaded it down a little bit. So cinnamon roll. And this is like the same color as my lip color. So cinnamon roll right there and then I took this color and did it like this so like that I took a clear lip gloss on the back of my tweezers clear lip gloss and then I put it on my top lip like this and then pressed everything together it looks really pretty I think it's a lip liner because I wear these glosses all the time but the way I did it today just is is giving. What is this? This is such a good foundation and I don't know where I've been. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and also subscribe to the channel. I'm going to put my face right here and I'll also put up another video for you guys to watch. So if you haven't already seen this video, check it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're coming from this video. Thank you guys so much for clicking to watch this video. Staying tuned to the end and always supporting your girl. I love y'all and I will see you guys in my next video.